Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this file, and they want to place rivet holes along the path, but they want one like right there, right there. They want them on the corner so they look defined. So I made a bunch of copies of the blend so I won't mess up. I'm going to grab the shape, and I'm going to take my shape tool, and I'm going to right-click these two and break them apart. Now, if you can just imagine your arrow, this one is going with the line in this one. So grab that one, hold down the shift, grab that one, it automatically grabs that one. I'm going to nudge it up out of the way. I've got my nudge factor set on 10 inches. I'm going to select it all. I'm going to go up to range. I'm going to break curve apart. Now we just have a single arc. I'm going to go to Windows, Dockers, Properties. I'm going to select on this, and our curve is basically 30 inches. So remember 30 inches. We're going to take two of our blends, open up the blend docker, and we're going to cut that in half and make 15 blends. Now we're going to go down here to New Path, and we're going to select. Then we're going to go blend along full path. And we've got that. Now what I would do right now, and you'll see why later, is I would delete that one. Whoop. I've got to go to range, break, blend apart. I would delete. Go to range. Well, I probably have to select it all. Go to range, ungroup, because later... Something's not working. Later, we don't want those there. And I'll show you why in just a second. Now, same thing. I wish you could just take it, and you could blend along a rectangle, but this thing is not even. So we're going to go take the shape tool, and we're going to select both those and right-click, break apart. Now you can see the arrows. I'm going to select that arrow and that arrow. I'm going to move it over. I'm going to select that arrow, not the down arrow, but the other arrow. I'm going to move it over to the center for a second. Now we need to go and go to range and break curve apart. Now this line is 4.2 inches. So I'm, mathematically it's not going to be perfect. But there's really no way to, unless somebody will chime in and tell me how to do it differently. So we're going to, we cut everything in half. This is four, so we're just going to do two. And remember, it's actually four because of the fact that um, it's blending. Put along, and it's, go along, blend along full path and hit apply. Do the same thing here. Two, apply. New path. Blend along full path. Put apply. And see, that's why, well, you'll see again why, why I deleted that one. We're going to do the same thing to the other two lines. I'm going to grab the shape tool, and I'm going to select both these, and I'm going to right-click break apart. Now, must not have done it. Right click, break apart. You can see the arrow is going up. So we want the up arrow. Hold down the shift, get the other up arrow, and nudge it over. This thing, we need to go to range, break curve apart. This thing is 21 inches. We're going to call it 20, so we're going to do 10. I'm going to make another copy of my blends so we won't run out. I'm going to grab those two, and this time I'm going to do 10. Hit apply. Blend along full path, or blend along path. Blend along full path. Hit apply. Same thing with this one. Grab that one. And that one, and let's nudge it out of the way. 
take two more blends, do 10, hit apply, new path, blend along full path, hit apply, we'll do one more, we got one more blend, this line is 36 inches, so we're going to do 18, because we're cutting everything in half. Now, like I said, it's not mathematically exactly even until I feel like it figure or until somebody chimes in. I don't know how else to do it evenly. So we've got everything done. Remember that we took away those. So we need to take select that. Actually, we need to select the whole thing, arrange, break, curve apart, go up to arrange group probably got to select it all ungroup and we're going to get rid of that one we're going to get rid of that one whoop i don't want our line away i must have hit the line yep all right same thing here go up to arrange group or let's select it all break blend apart select it all group ungroup and this time we're going to take away that dot and that dot now we've got our nudge factor still in the same place I'm going to select it all just to make sure. And voila, it's not mathematically perfect, but until we figure out another way, and I'm going to keep working on this, that's pretty cool. You've got them in the corners. You've got them. The only place that, I mean, I don't, the human eye, I don't think is going to detect them. The only way that are a little bit closer together are these. But there's really way, no way to mathematically get them even that I know of. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching. Sorry it was so long.